morning. Just like any other four-year-old, William Krasowski is excited about Halloween. I'm a human being. Yes, all dressed up in a costume, ready for the big day. I'm a dinosaur. The family has a pumpkin in front of their home. That's one. Just like most people do this time of year. A vampire pumpkin. <laughs> Every day is a kind of a kind of struggle. struggle. But most haven't experienced what Benjamin and Lynn Krasowski are going through. People don't even ask, like, you know, care about our story. They, like, they just... They just see the RV and they assume that they know your story. This has been home for the family for about four years. People forget that, that we yeah. are human beings just like them. We're just in a rough spot. The couple lost their apartment when a roommate left unexpectedly. At the same time, Benjamin could no longer work because of a medical condition. They ended up on the street with a then four-month-old William. We just have been finding spots like around the Portland area. Certain spots where they weren't always welcome. Yelling things. You know, Druggies. I, yeah, yeah, like uh, thieves, like just assuming that we're just like causing crime. And it's really hurtful, actually, that people just judge you just because we're just a family trying to raise our son. It's trying to get back spot. on our feet. The couple caught a break about a year ago when Lynn found a full-time job as a bartender. Things were going great for about nine months, but then the pandemic hit. She lost her job and the restaurant closed for good. We both were just like at a, at a breaking point. They worked small jobs, but nothing has been enough to get them out of the cycle of houselessness. Both of us, like we talked about it and we were just like, we just need to go to school, like to better our family to get us into a better situation and hopefully along the way, you know, we can get into a place. She's a student at American College of Healthcare Sciences and Benjamin is going to Portland Community College. In an RV, by the way, when libraries aren't open. It's very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> the couple now hopes for compassion and a little humanity as they strive to give William a better life. It's all for him. He definitely is our why <laughs> every day. I mean, look at him. Christelle Kumwe, KGW News.